In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to create either or interactive checkboxes in InDesign. That's either or interactive checkboxes in InDesign. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is create frames for these check marks to go into. So we can use any of the um, frame tools. We're going to use a rectangle frame right here. And we're going to create four frames for these check marks to go into. So I'll create one, duplicate them, and then the next step will be to actually put the check marks in these frames. The next thing we want to do is actually put the check marks in these frames. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go up to Windows, drop down to Interactive, slide over to Buttons and Forms, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select all four of these frames, go over to where it says Type, drop down to where it says Checkbox, and before we go any further, let's take a look and see what this looks like in Acrobat. So I'll go up to File. I'll go down to Export. I want to export this out as an interactive PDF file. The name of the file right now is Test. I'll say Save. I can keep the defaults where they are and then say Export. Now you can see we have these frames are highlighted. If we tap on one, we tap on the next one, we tap on the third one, and we tap on the fourth one. And this is really not an either or situation. This is basically a select all. So that's not what we want. We want to be able to say yes or no, yes or no. So let's make this happen. In order to make these an interactive um, situation, there are a few a small slight adjustments we need to make in order to make that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on these frames individually. So if I tap on the first one, you'll see it has checkbox one, the second one, checkbox two, the third one, checkbox three, and the fourth one, of course, checkbox four. All right, and if you notice at the very bottom, they all have the same value. They all say yes, okay? Well, here's how we make this thing happen. When we tap on checkbox one, that's checkbox one with a value of yes. We'll go to check the second one. We're gonna change checkbox, it says checkbox, checks, <laughs> checkbox two. We wanna make that checkbox one. And we wanna change the value to, no. Then we'll come over here. This one says check box three. Let's make that two. All right. And it says value yes. Let's go to the second one and let's make that also check box two and make the value no. So basically, what we have here is we have these two frames right here. This is one and this is one, but they have different values. The first one has a yes value. The first one has a yes value. The second one has a no value. This box is, the name of this box is checkbox two. It has a yes value. The name of the second one is also checkbox two, but it has a no value. Let's see what this looks like now when I export it out as an interactive PDF file. So I'll say save, keep the defaults. So now tap here, yes or no. Yes or no. Now I want to show you something else. It doesn't have to be the values don't have to be yes or no. I'm not going to save that. I'll just say don't save. All right. Uh, let me just come back to our InDesign document. That could be anything. So let's say, for example, if I tap on the yes, I could change that to up. And then I can change this one to down. Again, I could say I could change this one to right. 
I can change this one to left. The key is they all have to have, the two that are going to be alternating have to have the same name, the same checkbox name. For example, these two are both two. All right, and these two are both one. But the values can be whatever you want. Up, down, right, left. Let's take a look at that now and see how that, see if it changed anything. I'll say save. I'll replace what's there. Keep the defaults. Click this. Click that. Click this. Click that. So basically, that's how you can create alternating interactive checkboxes in InDesign and then export it out as a interactive Acrobat file. Hopefully this helps.